All right, I'm under the hood. You unscrew the top ring, somewhat like some headlights. It's pretty simple. Then you pull the filter cartridge out of its housing. Oh, there goes the pressure hose for the turbo boost. There it is. One filter. Let's see what kind of crud we have on the bottom. Maybe there's water in there. I thought the filter was inside the block of the engine, back of the intake manifold. In fact, all it does is just sit in a recess. Now, I'm going to take my flashlight off my belt. And I got my knees here on the rad support, not the grill, which goes crunch. And what do we got in there? A little bit of crud, but one broken vacuum pressure hose. Got some crud. Got a water sensor on the left, right there. But doesn't look as bad as I thought. No, no water. A friend of mine, gravel trucker, recommended draining the fluid, the diesel, out of it and filling it up with Stanodyne 100, but I don't have any with me, so. I wonder what brand filter this is. Made in USA, Stanodyne Corporation, in Windsor, Connecticut. I think from my looking at the rectangular filters that one finds on the older 6.2s, 84 and up, that Stanodyne makes all the filters and they relabel them fram or pure later. I'm not going to deal with this today. It's too cold. My hands are frozen. So, now I'm going to get off of here. Stop killing myself. Looking for the bumper guard. Whoa! Jump down. Kill yourself. Bad for your feet. Good film. So that's that. Let's check my sludge with my dad. battery going dead on my camera. Cold weather kills it. Yeah, there's my sludge. I'll just change oil again. Sludge full right to the top, but yucky. The next door neighbor is such a slumlord. Every friggin' apartment he's got rents to people with dogs, and one dog's pooping up the entire backyard. I mentioned it to him. I said, you gotta clean that up. Well, I do. No, you don't. Well, sometimes. Yeah, never. All right, I'll put a new battery. We'll crank this baby up. We're plugged in all night. CRC diesel fuel injector cleaner plus improves fuel lubricity. I went to Walmart last night. Got three jugs of TC3W that some people say not to put in. Other people say it's fine. And I forgot them. Mrs. CW went to shop at a different cache. And I cashed out and forgot them. Oh well. See that little louver thing in my jiggy? I got that at Rolling Bones last year. The guy has a 32 Ford with a supercharged flathead, the brown one. Chopped coupe. Three window. 34 maybe? 32? I don't know. He'll be there this year. Quite the drunk from Boston area. Buddy said he can make the plugs glow longer up to 25 seconds, but I don't think that's the problem. Crank her up! <laughs>
All right. Everything's all shoveled. And I'm gonna pull this thing out and shovel by hand because the blazer's got no brakes. And we're off to the rolling bones and cross country skiing. And see Mr. Napa Corvair. No Corvair, he's got a trailblazer. Equinox, Equinox, Trailblazer, I forget what he has. Trailblazer, I think. Equinox.